23 Vagina Facts You'll Want to Tell All Your Friends Knowledge is power, especially regarding vaginas. However, there's a lot of misinformation out there. Much of what we hear about vaginas as we grow up, such as they shouldn't smell or they get stretched out, is not only inaccurate but can also cause unnecessary shame and stress. To help you navigate through these myths and appreciate your body in all its glory, we've compiled a list of completely true facts about vaginas and vulvas. 1. Your vulva is not your vagina, but we know what you mean. The vagina is a muscular canal, 3 to 6 inches long, that extends from the cervix, the lower part of the uterus, to the outside of the body. The vulva encompasses all the external parts, including the labia, urethra, clitoris, and vaginal opening. It's important to know the difference because understanding your body's anatomy is empowering and can be useful or even necessary, such as when being intimate with a partner. However, if you refer to the entire area as your vagina, don't worry. Language is fluid, after all. 2. Most people can't orgasm from vaginal penetration alone. Sorry, Freud, but only a bit over 18% of people with vaginas report reaching orgasm from penetration alone. For the other 80%, the clitoris is the key to orgasm. Some individuals can experience both vaginal and clitoral orgasms simultaneously, known as a blended orgasm. While this may sound rare, it is entirely achievable. Additionally, there are many perfectly healthy bodies that rarely or never reach orgasm. 3. Not all people with vaginas are women. Genitalia does not determine gender, and assuming otherwise can be harmful. Many people with vaginas are not women. They may identify as men or non-binary. 4. Vaginas do tear during childbirth, but this is normal. No need for horror movie soundtracks, this is a normal part of childbirth, and your body is designed to recover. Up to 79% of vaginal deliveries involve tearing or require an incision. These injuries can range from minor tears to a longer cut, called an episiotomy, made intentionally by a healthcare provider, such as when the baby is positioned feet first or a faster delivery is needed. Scary? Yes. Insurmountable? Not at all. Your vagina is resilient and, thanks to its ample blood supply, heals quicker than other parts of the body. 5. If you have a G-spot, it's likely because of your clitoris. Pop culture has been fixated on the G-spot for decades, causing many to feel pressured to find this supposed erogenous hotspot. However, a 2017 study failed to identify the G-spot, and another large study found that less than a quarter of people with vaginas climax from penetration alone. There isn't strong evidence supporting the anatomical existence of the G-spot. If you enjoy having the front wall of your vagina touched or stimulated, it's likely due to the internal network of your clitoris. 6. The clitoris is like the tip of an iceberg. Historically, the clitoris was thought to be a pea-sized bundle of nerve endings hidden under the clitoral hood, leading to many jokes about how difficult it was for men to find. The true dimensions of the clitoris weren't widely recognized until 2009, when a group of French researchers created a life-sized 3D printed model of the pleasure center. Now we know that the clitoris is an extensive network of nerve endings, mostly beneath the surface. Measuring up to 10 centimeters from tip to tip, it is shaped like a four-pronged wishbone and is hard to miss. 7. The A-spot possible pleasure center? The anterior fornix, or A-spot, is a small alcove located deep on the belly side of the cervix, further inside the vagina than the G-spot. A 1997 study found that stimulating the A-spot can easily increase vaginal lubrication. Additionally, 15% of participants in the study reached orgasm after 10 to 15 minutes of A-spot stimulation. 8. Cherries don't pop. And can we please stop calling them cherries? Most people with vaginas are born with a hymen, a thin piece of skin that partially covers the vaginal opening. Contrary to popular belief, this skin does not pop at any point in your life. It's not like a piece of bubble gum. Hymens often tear before a person has penetrative sex, during activities like riding a bike or inserting a tampon. However, it's also common for the hymen to tear during sex, which might result in a bit of blood. Nine. The clitoris has twice as many nerve endings as the penis. The famously sensitive penis has about 4,000 nerve endings, while the hard-to-find clitoris boasts 8,000. 
all the more reason to give your clitoris the attention it deserves. 10. Vaginas are supposed to have a smell. This should be common knowledge, but it often isn't. The key point? The vagina is home to a specialized community of bacteria that constantly work to maintain a healthy and balanced pH level. Like other bacteria, they do have a smell. So, the occasional unique tanginess you might notice is perfectly normal and doesn't require masking with scented body washes or perfumes. However, if you detect a new or unusually strong odor, it's a good idea to consult a doctor. 11. The vagina is self-cleaning. Let it do its thing. The specialized bacteria mentioned earlier are there to maintain your vaginal pH at an optimal level, protecting against harmful bacteria. It's completely normal to find discharge, whether thin or thick, clear or whitish, in your underwear by the end of the day. This discharge is a sign of your vagina's natural cleaning process. Using cleaning methods like douching is not recommended, as they can disrupt this balance and lead to issues such as bacterial vaginosis and infections. 12. You can get wet without being sexually aroused. When a vagina is wet, it doesn't necessarily mean the person wants to have sex. Vaginal wetness can occur for various reasons. Daily cervical mucus is secreted due to hormonal changes. The vulva has many sweat glands, and vaginas can produce lubrication in response to touch, regardless of sexual arousal, a phenomenon known as arousal nonconcordance, which is more common in women. It's important to remember that vaginal wetness should never be interpreted as a signal of consent. Consent must be clearly communicated and explicitly given. Additionally, urine can sometimes come into contact with the vulva. 13. Vaginas get deeper when we're turned on. When thinking about sex, the vagina prepares itself for penetration. Typically, the vagina measures between 3 to 6 inches in length and 1 to 2.5 inches in width. During arousal, the upper part of the vagina lengthens, pushing the cervix and uterus slightly deeper into the body to accommodate penetration. 14. And they also change color. When you're aroused, increased blood flow to your vulva and vagina can cause the skin in that area to appear darker. Don't worry. It will return to its normal color once the excitement has passed. 15. Most orgasms aren't earth-shattering and that's okay. The media's dramatic depiction of orgasms has set an unrealistic standard for what they should look like. In reality, orgasms vary widely. They don't always involve dramatic gestures like lip biting or back arching. Some orgasms are brief and subtle, while others are more intense and profound. Avoid focusing too much on the intensity or duration of your orgasm. Remember, sex is about the experience, not just the end result. 16. You can lift weights with your vagina. Vaginal weightlifting, where an anchor is inserted into the vagina and connected to a weight on a string, is more than just a gimmick. It's a legitimate method for strengthening your pelvic floor. Stronger vaginal muscles can enhance both the duration and enjoyment of sex. 17. Some people have two vaginas. A rare condition known as uterus didelphes causes a small number of people to have two vaginal canals. Those with two vaginas can still become pregnant and give birth, but they face a significantly higher risk of miscarriage and preterm labor. 18. The clitoris and penis share a hometown. Initially, all fetuses have what is known as a genital ridge, which appears identical in both male and female fetuses. Around the ninth week after conception, this embryonic tissue begins to differentiate into either the head of a penis or the clitoris and labia majora. The key takeaway is that we all begin from the same starting point. 19. Childbirth doesn't permanently stretch out the vagina, but expect some changes. In the days immediately following a vaginal birth, your vagina and vulva will likely feel bruised and swollen. It's also normal for your vagina to seem more open than usual due to the baby that recently passed through. Don't worry, this swelling and increased openness will decrease within a few days. Additionally, you'll experience dryness, as your postpartum body produces less estrogen, which is responsible for vaginal lubrication. This dryness can be more pronounced while breastfeeding, as it further reduces estrogen levels. While your vagina may remain somewhat wider than it was before birth, you can maintain toned and healthy vaginal muscles by regularly performing pelvic floor exercises. 20. You can't lose a tampon or anything in your vagina. 
That moment of panic during sex when you remember you put in a tampon earlier? We've all experienced it. But don't worry. Your tampon won't travel far. At the back of your vagina is your cervix, the lower part of your uterus. During childbirth, the cervix dilates to allow the baby to pass through. But normally it remains closed, so nothing can get accidentally lost or stuck in there. However, it's common to forget a tampon for days or even weeks which can cause a foul, decomposing odor. While it's usually safe to remove a forgotten tampon yourself, it's a good idea to consult a doctor to ensure you've removed all parts. 21. The size and location of your clitoris matters for orgasm. A 2014 study suggests that difficulty reaching orgasm during penetrative sex for some people with vaginas may be due to a relatively small clitoris that is positioned farther from the vaginal opening. 22. When you're pregnant, your underwear becomes a mini slip and slide. To protect you and your growing baby from infection, your vagina produces a continuous flow of discharge as it cleans itself. The amount of discharge will increase as your pregnancy progresses. Typically, the discharge will be thin and clear to milky in color throughout most of your pregnancy and may turn pinkish in the final week. It should never have a strong, fishy odor or a chunky texture. If you notice any of these unusual signs, it's best to consult a doctor. 23. Got cramps? Your vagina might help with that. Consider giving yourself an orgasm to trigger the release of feel-good chemicals such as dopamine and serotonin. These natural pain relievers can help alleviate menstrual cramps, and the post-orgasmic relaxation can soothe your muscles. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.